Hi there, we're going to do a quick demo here of building a cumulative distribution plot inside Excel. So there's a couple of steps we're going to go through to build this plot. <clears throat> First is we need to choose a numeric field that we're interested in and sort that field from smallest to largest. I work in the healthcare space, so we're going to be working with a patient's length of stay. The second thing we'll have to do is create two running counts. The first one is just simply a count of the records, and the second one is a cumulative percentage for each record uh, beginning to end. The third thing is we'll select the numeric field that we're interested in and the cumulative percentage that we created, and then choose a scatter plot and have the wizard put it out for us. All right, so let's jump into Excel and take a look at what the process looks like. Okay, so back in Excel, we need to make a couple of adjustments to our worksheet here. So I've got some pretty simple data. I just have some fake patient information here. I've got a patient ID number and their length of stay. I have about 500 records in here. If I scroll down to the bottom, uh, you'll see 500 patients listed. So the first thing I need to do is choose my field of interest. In this case, there is only one. It's my length of stay. I'm going to take... Uh, Take this table that I've built and I'm going to sort it smallest to largest. So I'll get everyone that had one length of stay, two, three, four, and so on. In this data set, the length of stay values range from one is the minimum and 100 is the maximum. So the first thing we're going to do is put a cumulative uh, percentage column next to the length of stay that we have. And I want to put that here because when I create the chart, it'll make it easier for the chart to be built using the wizard. And then the next one I want to create is a, a number of patients. So we'll just do patient uh, number <clears throat> like that. Uh, and I'm going to do the patient number first. And this is pretty simple. We just want to count uh, a running total of the patient. So I'll just enter two values here, double click the bottom right corner, and we should have it counting from 1 to 500. All right, so it looks good. Uh, now we need to create the cumulative percentage uh, as a running percentage through each of the records. So there's a number of different ways to do this. I'm going to show you the, the preferred method or the method that I like to use. So we're going to create a formula. So we'll use the equal sign. And uh, this is going to equal the current number of uh, patients that we have uh, in our table and the record that we're currently looking at. And then we're going to do a formula where we're going to say, or a function call, we'll say the max of the values in this particular column of the table, and then we'll hit enter. <clears throat> so this max function will return 500. The reason I do it this way and why I think this is the preferred method is that if this table shrinks or grows, we'll be able to get the max value as long as we have a way of updating the running total from uh, column D here. Alternatively, I could just put a number here like 500 since I know that that's the, the uh, current number of records in this field and reference that, uh, that field as an absolute reference, and that would work also. All right, I'm going to highlight the percentage, uh, cumulative percentage column, change it to an actual percentage with two decimal places, and uh, we'll leave it like that. <clears throat> so have the cumulative percentage built, have the count of records, a running total of the count of records built. So we'll just select using this little down arrow that pops up here, these two fields, these two columns in the data set. We'll go over to the insert menu and we'll choose insert a scatter plot here with lines. All right, so we'll get our basic chart built. I need to make a few adjustments to this chart, okay? I'll shrink that up just a little bit more. So the first thing that I need to do, I'm going to select the vertical axis here. We're going to go over and we're going to change the axis options and we're going to make this 1.0 instead of 1.2, which is 100%. Then we're going to go and change the number format to zero decimal points. I don't want two decimal places on the axis. I have two decimal places in my data set, but not in the axis. On the horizontal axis, <clears throat> I'm going to change the access options here as well. The maximum length of stay is 100 days, not 120. So we'll make it just 100 on the axis. And then I don't want it to display in increments of 10. I want it to be in increments of 5 as my major unit. All 
sorry, that looks that looks pretty good. All right, we'll just change the chart title here also. So we're going to call this cumulative uh, distribution uh, of uh, LOS is our abbreviation for length of stay. <clears throat> and what this really helps me do is answer questions like, uh, what is the uh, what if 50% of the patients have a length of stay of what? So I'll go over here and I look at my 50% mark. Roughly 49.8% uh, of them have a length of stay of 19 days or less. If I wanted to just look at length of stay and say how many people or what is the, the proportion of patients that stay 15 days or less, I can see the 15 day marker here and go on up and that answers 42.6%. So you see most of the patients have a length of stay uh, that is in the 30, 35 day range. Not very many people are out in the extreme values here, 60 days or more <clears throat> as a smaller proportion of the population. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos on any of the Excel content. I also have videos on Alterx and SAP Lumera.